All right, guys, what's going on? This is Cross. Um, we're going to be playing some Drop Zone today again. I think that's actually going to catch on quite a bit because it's more of a fast gameplay type style. Uh, you get to see me actually use a Barrett in kind of close quarters. Um, actual um, people rushing an objective, like, you don't really see that often anymore. Uh, people don't really like to cap flags and domination, so I kind of result to this. And this game is actually pretty much close to being over, and we're going to lose. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. And we will have the next game um, after this one. I hope it's a decent map. <sighs> I don't really see any problem with this team over here. They only broke 11 kills, 16 at the most. Uh, that's kind of strange for drop zone. Um, usually drop zone's like a 30 plus 20 kill game. And the score is kind of different though, like 75,000 to uh, 18,000 roughly and yeah that's kind of interesting to see maybe they beat that game rather quickly I didn't get to see the time how much time was left on the clock but we'll go ahead and play dome domes are actually a pretty decent map I like it because it's fast paced and you don't have to uh, worry about too much now let me see what I got here undetectable by air and sentries um, I love this but the only thing I don't like uh, with my Barrett uh, yeah, I did. I, I unlocked it. Check that out. Extended mags. I like to run this class setup right here. Uh, Marksman, Blind Eye Pro, and Quick Drop Pro. Basically, I can recover from equipment and grenade usage quicker, so I can throw stuns and flashes without being, you know, screwed over. Um, a lot of the time I use Tactical, so I don't have it. You know, it's not a big deal. But when I play, like, Ground War or something like that, I like to have Quick Draw Pro um, at least um, in order to throw stuff without getting killed in between. Um, blind eye, you don't really need it, but if you're playing drop zone, please put it on. It's going to save you a lot of time. Slide of hand pro, uh, I like to have it, but it just depends. When I'm starting out, I like to have it because if you're using like a, I think it's an L11, uh, basically your reload time sucks. Same with the AS50 or the MSR. And you usually get shot while you're reloading because you only have five rounds. And uh, a lot of the time you shoot like two or three bullets, then you reload. Um, you get killed in between that reload, and that's frustrating. That's why I kind of waited to snipe um, until I ended up getting Slide of Hand Pro and stuff like that. Uh, just so I could get more comfortable into it. We're going to give this a shot, though. I'm going to show you guys a little triple spot. I think I actually did this in my last Road to Commander that I attempted. I ran up here, and I tried it, and I got like a collat. And... Uh, yeah, right there. Basically, they run right here, and you can pick them off. And I'm going to get shot. I can't see a damn thing. I know it. I'm just going to get picked off. I was going to throw a Simtex over there and try to blow up that car. It'll probably either blow up the cars and kill him, or actually just kill directly on him. I haven't really figured that one out. Sometimes I put my tack here. It's not the brightest idea, because there is an exploding car right there. But if you do that, you know, you're right on top of it. And you don't... Okay, that's cute. I'm... That's real fucking cute. See what I mean by tacking in the wrong spot? Probably shouldn't have done that. Don't really care too late now. Um, I just don't like how the fact he lived through a shotgun. And there's another guy over there, and there's this guy. Alright. I hate those goddamn things so much. Stealth bombers piss me off because it's like, you know what would be really realistic in war? How about screen shake? Because that makes it fucking cool for everyone. Like, fuck, no. Keep that shit out of here. Like, stop it. You're not helping anyone at all whatsoever, and it's not enjoyable. Like, just quit it. I'm also tired of uh, when people, like, get shot in the face. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, all right, guys, how do we simulate you get shot? Well, why don't we just put a bunch of blood on your screen? That way you can't see anything. Like, you can't see dick. It just, it makes no sense. But they do it anyway, and it's kind of like, meh. No, I'm going to get killed. This is probably one of my favorite spots to attack because you can pretty much control the map. They spawn there, and they spawn over here. And this guy doesn't know what's going on. Throw a Simtex right there. I'm going to get picked off. Oh, it's not going to kill him. Bummer. This one's cool. Um, you can scope down here, pick off people, or they spawn in the back. Sometimes they spawn down there, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, it's a nasty little surprise when they do, because they come up behind your whole team. And it's not good. Walk out. I know you're over there. 
Looks like they're spawning up here. Um, they should spawn behind me soon. I'm not sure what's going on. It's taking them a little while. Oh, come on. Just die. Thank you. I don't have time to play that. I really don't. I don't like it when... Uh... Come on. Walk out. Alright, well... What the fuck? Sometimes I think my shots will hit, but... I just don't. Alright, Juggernaut time. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's like head glitching slash being dumb. Uh, this is how I take care of Juggernauts. Right there. Usually aim for the chest or head and just lay down prone and spray as fast as you can. It'll it'll kill him in seconds. Uh, it's kind of cheap, cheeky, whatever, but I don't care. It's a Juggernaut and I don't want it anywhere near me whatsoever. I have no idea why that guy keeps going back there. It's just weird to me. This is a triple spot right here, if you guys actually wondered. Um, they spawn in that back corner, right where that guy spawned. You can see that. And why is everyone sniping now? I'm not. <laughs> I'm on my second account and I'm offline. Stop it! I don't want sniper lobbies. But then again, Drop Zone is primarily a sniper lobby anymore. Um, the majority of people who play it snipe, and you know, there's nothing you can really do about that. People are gonna play the game how they enjoy the game, and and if you don't like it, eh, tough shit. I guess it's okay. Um, sometimes I just get frustrated at certain aspects of the game, and I really shouldn't worry about it too much or take it out on the wrong player. Uh, just, oh god, run away before he runs over here and blows me up with him. I don't want that to happen. Come on. Come on, walk out. I almost got a care package kill. That would have been awesome. Alright, so someone got my tack. I think he's throwing grenades from over there. Uh, I want to hit a triple, but I don't know if that will ever happen. Uh, if I hit a triple on a live stream, I think that'd be pretty badass. Oh, I can't live stream. What am I talking about? During a live commentary. I think that'd be fucking hilarious. Alright, we're gonna come over here. No shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sensor gun. Did not see that. I saw it, but I didn't really think about it. Almost turned on. Almost. Almost, almost. Alright, so we got two guys here. There's one guy gonna be, like, right there. That's a really popular corner. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I put to stick my tack here. You just gotta be careful. Um, you don't get hit by a care package when you run out. Uh, teammate's sentry gun. Whoops. I don't like sentry guns at knife them all anyway. Um, this guy doesn't know I'm here. Cool. Awesome. That's why I like blind eye too. Did not see the guy in the corner. I'm not gonna bullshit there. But um, he actually put that sentry gun in a really good spot. Disappear. Come on. No! I got confused. <laughs> um, someone destroyed my tack, so I figured if I turned around, I should probably shoot him first. Chose wrong. Unfortunately. Um, I make mistakes. It happens. And everyone's sniping. Stop it. Stop it. I'm supposed to snipe, not you guys. Uh, I think a lot of the frustration with snipers uh, that people have is how they are a one-hit kill. And if sometimes you get awkward moments to where they pop out of nowhere or they head glitch that the style that snipers use to play the game is is more strategic than i would say like a lot of people with red guns that i see uh, a lot of the time ah damn it i missed his head and that striker has a lot of range that shit should be nerfed times 10 shotguns i know shotguns in real life can shoot rather quite far uh 100 yards maybe um Depends. You can fire a deer slug out of them pretty far. Um, don't quote me on that. I know. I know. But um, video games, they're nerfed for a reason. Your maps are small, and if you had, like, model 19, uh, 1887s or whatever, again, unpatched, people are going to get mad. Like, they're not going to enjoy it at all whatsoever. Um, it's just going to be a frustrating game, and that's why they got patched. Um, sniping, on the other hand, I don't really know what you could do to sniping to make it not um i i want to say i don't think it's overpowered i think uh players that are experienced somewhat come off as overpowered because they pull off things that normally like casual players don't do and uh they see that and they're like holy shit you know how does that happen but mm. black ops tried it 
they like tried to patch sniping because it wasn't, I guess, fair. I couldn't decide who I wanted to shoot there. I was having trouble. I'm gonna give you a little bit of pressure there by throwing that grenade that direction. I'm gonna scope in and wait for your ass to walk out. Never mind. I'm gonna get killed by another. Ah, oh, shit. Camp and attack. Now we're spawning in the bad spawn. I think I'm gonna try to help my team actually cap this because um, they're going, kind of going hard. Um, they're actually keeping up in points. There's a kid over here. Damn it. Uh, there's two kids over there. My bad. I can't count. Where are you at? Um, I like how Black Ops, uh, they, they patched the sniper to where it had a random delay before your bullet would go straight, and then it had a, uh, a timer in terms of, like, like, your, well, it had sway, and then your bullet wouldn't go straight until the sway stopped out, and then there's also a small delay on that. And that was really frustrating as a sniper, because people would run up on you with shotguns and just lay you out, or any gun, because you couldn't shoot straight even though your crosshair was on them already. Uh, that's a really spot popular spot to camp right there. Uh, I don't know what people do or why they camp there. They just do. Um, damn it. I'm gonna get smoked right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? No. Ah, shotgun. Alright, walk out and hit that, please. Uh, let's try this. Everyone's walking around with shotguns now and snipers. Ah, oh, that should have killed him. Come on. Nope! I knifed! Where does my command do from MW2? That shit was annoying as fuck. Um, I noticed the knife distance has gone down a lot uh, in MW3. Like, sometimes you have some things where you're like, wait a minute. But other than that, you know, it's been... It's kind of been put down a little bit. Like, it's not nearly as insane. Like, 15, 20 feet away. And then you had uh, perks like... Uh, extreme conditioning marathon um, with commando allowed you to knife super far and super fast. And then why is that guy there? There you go. Sit down. Uh, oh, come on. We're spawning in a weird spot. I've wanted to get him over by the dumps. Uh, not dumpster, but the actual door. We're going to lose the game. Kind of sad panda about that now. All right, 73 and 33, final score. I think that was a lot better. Um, I kind of felt good playing two games. Usually I only play one, and uh, I really didn't get a chance to play the first one on Village, but I think this worked out fairly well. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, this cross, guys, and uh, leave some comments below on what you want to see in the future.